Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you have fields placed into the report design view, you will need to change their position and size on the page. Before we can make any editing changes to a field, however, we need to first select it. You can click on a field to select it. When a field is selected, it will appear with a blue border around it in the report design view. You will also see four small squares around the perimeter of the object, one on each side of the field. These are called the resizing handles, and we use these to change the height and width of the data field. If you need to deselect a field which you have selected, you can click into the empty space within a report section to deselect the currently selected object or objects. You can also select multiple objects simultaneously within a report. When you have multiple objects selected within a report, whatever action you then take is applied to all of the selected objects. This can be a useful way to delete several report data fields at once versus deleting each one independently, which is more time consuming. You can also use it to apply a formatting style, like bolding, to several simultaneously selected fields. To select multiple fields at the same time, click on the first field which you would like to select. Then hold down either the shift or control key on your keyboard while you continue to click on the other fields that you would also like to simultaneously select. Then you can release the key that you are holding down when you finished making your selections. Another method of selecting multiple adjacent or next to each other objects is to use a selection marquee. To use a selection marquee, hold your mouse pointer over the blank area in the section of the report where the fields that you wish to select are located. Then just simply click and drag your mouse pointer, noticing the selection marquee that is being created as you continue to click and drag. Simply continue to click and drag the mouse through any fields that you wish to select. Any fields that are touched or enclosed by the selection marquee that you draw will become selected when you finally release your mouse pointer. You may also easily move the selected fields that you've placed into your report. Simply place your mouse pointer over any selected field or fields in the report design view. When you see a four-pointed arrow appear as your mouse pointer, click and drag to move the selected fields and release them in another area of the report. You could also just click on a field to select it and then tap the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the fields up, down, left, or right. You can also use the guidelines that appear in the ruler at the top of the report design view to move fields to the left and right. Using this method ensures that both the title and the data appear with the same alignment in the same column. Remember that when we insert a new field into the details section of a report, Crystal will automatically create a label for the data which it places into the page header section. Notice when it does this, it will also place a small guideline marker into the ruler for the selected field. This marker looks like a small home plate from baseball. If you're familiar with Microsoft Word, you'll think it looks like the first line indent character. You may click and drag this guideline left and right on the ruler to move both the data field and the label in tandem. However, it's important to note that when you manually click and drag on a field to move it, such as we did with employee ID or first name, you break it away from the aligning guideline. Therefore, using the guideline will not affect the field that you moved by hand after that. You'll see a small red indicator at the left edge of any field that is aligned to a guideline. You can reassociate a field with a guideline by manually moving the left edge of the field onto the guideline. When you place it in the correct position and then release it, you will see the red indicator appear at the left edge again. 
Then you may use the guideline to move the fields. Notice if it is a number field that is aligned to the right, then the guideline may appear at the right edge. You can also add and remove the guidelines freely in the report design view. To add a guideline, simply click into the ruler at the position where you wish to place the guideline. To remove a guideline, click and drag the guideline from the ruler and release it in the blank area of the report design section. To resize a field, first select the field or fields that you wish to resize. Then place your mouse pointer over the resizing handle that corresponds to the direction in which you wish to resize the selected field. When your mouse pointer is in the correct location, it will appear as a double pointed arrow. You may click at that point and drag to resize the selected field in either direction, making it taller or shorter or increasing or decreasing the width. You can also resize your fields using the keyboard. In order to do this, you would need to select the field to resize first, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then press the arrow keys on your keyboard to resize the selected fields. It's important to note that if you simply resize the data field, the field label will also be resized to the same dimensions. However, resizing the label will not reciprocally resize the data field. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.